Are you listening? Hey everyone, it's Pastor Ken. Are we listening today? God's got a promise for us today. He promises to show up in our life. Today I want to talk about promises that God makes just for a few minutes because right now and during every circumstance in our life, God promises to be with his people. And we as Christians, we know we are his people and we want to follow him and trust him. So shh. For a few minutes, listen to God's word. Listen today to what God is saying to you. I want to read to you four verses, four promises that promise us that God is going to be listening to us and answering our prayers right now. First Jeremiah 33, 3 says, Call to me and I will answer you and tell you great and unsearchable things you do not know. God promises to be there with us. Listen to this one, Jeremiah 29, 12. Then you will call to me and come and pray to me and I will listen to you. God is listening to us right now as we cry out to him. Psalm 5, 3. In the morning, Lord, you hear my voice. In the morning, I lay my request before you and wait expectantly. Are we waiting expectantly to, to hear from the Lord today? And then I have 1 John 5, 15. It says, and if we know that he hears us, whatever we ask, we know that we have we, that what we have asked from him. Four truths, and there's so many more, that God is with us. That if we listen, God promises to answer us. God promises to be with us. His truth is in the word right here, and we understand that. And I don't know where we are right now, whether we're having a good day or a hard day, but I want us to know whatever the circumstance is right now, whether it's something with the social distancing or the virus or whatever else is going on in our life, good or bad, God is listening to us cry out to him right now. And so we must be faithful to that because God is faithful to his promises. So shh, are we listening? There's a story in the Bible about a man named Elijah. Elijah needed to hear from God. He was in a situation where he had to hear from God. He needed God's truth. He needed God's revelation in order to make sense of what's going on in his life. So listen to this story right here as I read Elijah about Elijah in King, 1 Kings 19. And this is God's revelation to him, but it also has great meaning to us. Then he said, Go out and stand on the mountain before the Lord. And behold, the Lord passed by, and a great and strong wind tore into the mountains and broke the rocks in pieces before the Lord. But the Lord was not in the wind. And after the wind, an earthquake. But the Lord was not in the earthquake. And after the earthquake, a fire. But the Lord was not in the fire. And after the fire, a still small voice after the fire a still small voice so it was when Elijah heard it that he wrapped his face in his mantle and went out and stood at the entrance of the cave suddenly a voice came to him and said what are you doing here Elijah and I love this story a story so so meaningful to our time right now because God was not in any of those circumstances, but he was always seeing Elijah through them. And I don't know what the circumstances, I don't know what the fire is, I don't know what the earthquake is, I don't know what it is right now, but I promise you this, just as I read those scriptures earlier and the one I just read to you right now, God wants to speak to us through his still, small, quiet voice. And I believe we find that in the word of God for the people of God that are searching after him. And here's what happened. God came to Elijah and was there for him. And the question was, what are you doing here? And so that's my question for us today during these times. What are we doing here? Are we listening to God's voice, his still, small, quiet voice? Or are we all confused and concerned by all the, the, the stuff going on? So for a few months, moments today, no matter if it's a good day or maybe, I, I got to be honest, some days there's hard days too. Just take a moment, read God's promises about he promises to be there for us and listen for his still, small, quiet voice. Elijah had to get to a place where he listened to God and he had to listen to God through those circumstances. Then he became quiet before the Lord and the Lord was there for him. 
and God is always there for, there for him to speak to him, but also for us too. I've grown in my faith most during trying times, during circumstances that were not comfortable for me to, to, to deal with. So during these days too, I'm finding myself growing a lot in my faith, and I pray that you are too, because God doesn't provide, uh, promise a comfortable life, but he does provide a meaningful life. I was reminded by some words from a friend today about that. So today, before we pray, quiet your heart, open your ears to the Lord, shh, whatever it takes to have that quiet time, listen for his still, small, quiet voice. You might be in the middle of the wind, the earthquake, the fire. You might be, I don't know, just dealing with something so big. But listen for God's voice today. Now, the great thing is, if we're having a good day, may we be encouragement to other people. May we go out and help other people through word and deed. Let me pray. Lord, thank you for these promises that you will show up. You promise to show up, Lord, if we listen for you, if we see you. So we call to you, Lord. We pray to take care of our circumstances, but those also that we know of that need just a special word from you today. So Lord, we, we lift up ourselves to you as a nation, as a world, as Christians, as people, and we want to hear from you today. Thank you that you're faithful to speak in your name. Amen. Well, everyone, prom I promise you this, that God will show up in your life today. I guarantee you, I based it on the Word of God, not my own authority, but this is absolute truth in this, in this book right here. And the Word of God says God is always listening and always answering. So if you have a prayer request, if you need something today, please just let me know, and I will be happy to pray with you, be happy to help out any way I can. And I want you to know I love you in the love of the Lord. And if you, if, like I said, if you need anything, let's be, get through this together. Have a great day, everyone. Listen for the Lord to speak today and watch how he answers our prayers. He promises. So, shh. Are we listening? Let's listen together. Have a great day, everyone.